Hey, and welcome back to the channel. And this might just be the best collab that I've seen on a laptop. And this is the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED, a bathing ape edition. And it's a $1,200 laptop. It's actually not a $1,200 laptop, it's $1,300. That might be a great pickup for those looking for a nice and big computer that packs a pretty solid hardware. Now, this Bathing Ape Edition is new, just announced this August, and while the normal S15 OLED has been out for a bit, let's check out what else you get with this laptop. So the first thing that you'll notice right away is the design and branding on the laptop itself. Normally, it's just a plain old matte black finish, but on this version, you get this beep camo print on the laptop itself. It's stealthy too, not too flashy since the camo itself is printed on a nice glossy black finish. You're getting that Asus Bathing Ape tag on the outside as well. Now, the trackpad on the inside is also rocking that beep camo, which looks super sweet. And of course, a Bathing Ape logo on the lower right portion of the laptop. Now, besides that, you're also getting a Bathing Ape toy in the box. I'm keeping this in the box just to keep it in its mint condition, but you're also getting a Bathing Ape mouse and a really nice Bape laptop briefcase that has plenty of pockets on the inside for accessories and other things that you want to carry. So for an extra $100, that's what you're getting. All right, now let's talk about the hardware on this laptop. So this Asus VivoBook S15 OLED is a 15.6 inch laptop. It features a slightly above full HD OLED screen that looks awesome to look at. It features 120 Hertz refresh rate. And while the resolution would look a lot nicer in 4K, I think it's fine for this price point. I just can't complain. Besides that, inside this laptop is a 13th gen Intel i9 processor. It has 14 cores running at 2.6 gigahertz and I'll throw up benchmark scores in just a little bit. Now, unfortunately this laptop doesn't have a dedicated GPU you, so you're left with Intel's Iris XE, which we'll talk more about later in the video. Now, this laptop is also Intel Evo certified, which means it checks a lot of the boxes that is necessary to be Evo certified, like waking from sleep in less than a second, Wi-Fi 6 on board, and at least one Thunderbolt 4 port and fast charging. Now, this laptop also features a full-size HDMI 1.4 port, one USB 3.2 port that's a type A, a Thunderbolt 4 port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and oddly enough, a USB 2.0 port on the left side of the laptop. That one, I'm still a little bit confused as to why they didn't just make that another 3.2 type A port. But yeah, USB 2.0 in 2023 is a little odd. Now this laptop also comes with 16 gigs of RAM, which is not user upgradable. And Asus did tell me that the SSD on this laptop is not user upgradable either. But opening up the laptop, you do technically have access to the NVMe drive, but I haven't tried swapping out the one terabyte NVMe drive that's on here. All right, now onto the day-to-day -day stuff. I think what I really like about this laptop from the get-go uh, is how awesome it feels to type on this keyboard. It's a full-size keyboard with a numpad on the right side of the laptop, which is very rare to see nowadays. Uh, but the trackpad on the other hand is just okay. It's a decent size, but I'd often hit the right mouse button. So I turned that off in the settings real quick because where the trackpad's place is not necessarily in the middle of the laptop. It's offset to the left a little bit just because of the keyboard. Uh, uh, but yeah, besides that, I think it's just okay. I don't think there's a laptop out there that can compete with Apple's trackpad on their MacBooks. Now, when it comes to performance, and I do just want to preface this right now before we jump into, you know, the technicalities, this is not a gaming laptop and it's not trying to be one, but given that this packs a 13th gen i9 processor and it has Intel's Iris Graphics XE, I had to install a few games on here to see how it would perform. So starting off with Diablo 4, the newest game from Blizzard, which I gotta admit I have to keep playing, but I just don't have enough time for that right now. Uh, at 1080p in low settings, I would be able to average around 65 frames frames per second, which is not that bad. Sometimes when there's a ton of enemies, maybe it would drop down to 45, 50 frames, but yeah, definitely playable. In Rocket League at 1080p in its quality settings, I'd get around 100 to 120 frames per second. In Overwatch 2 at 1080p in medium to low settings, I'd get a stable 100 frames per second on here with occasional frame drops to about 95 frames per second. But overall, still a very smooth experience. So yeah, when it comes to gaming, it's not gonna have the best looking graphics, but at least you can play games on this laptop. And just so you guys know, the laptop was plugged in using the included charging brick when I ran these tests and without being plugged in, in high performance mode, I'd lose about 10 to 15 frames per second, which sucks, but that's to be expected. 
Now I will say under low, the fans do get quite loud, but definitely not as loud as something like the Razer Blade 14, which sounds like a jet engine about to take off. Also under heavy load, I didn't notice the laptop getting hot. Typically gaming laptops that I've reviewed in the past, the bottom of the laptop and the wrist rest would get unbearably hot, but this laptop does not get hot like that. Uh, it will get warm though. Now throwing video editing into the mix with DaVinci Resolve Studio, I'm somewhat able to edit videos on here. I probably wouldn't recommend anything heavy like 4K clips from a mirrorless camera like the Sony a7S III, but if you've got 1080p videos or clips from your phone or you're you know, just doing simple cuts with little to no color grading and maybe some transition, it should handle editing just fine. Uh, but I tried editing some of my 4K 10-bit clips that I shot uh, from previous videos and added color grading and plugins from Motion VFX. And a few seconds later, this laptop would freeze and crash DaVinci Resolve. So like I said, if you stick to 1080p editing and doing very, very simple edits, you'll most likely be okay. Now, this isn't a super powerful laptop for video editing. So if you're looking for a laptop that can edit heavy 4K videos, you're most likely gonna spend at least a few hundred dollars more on a more powerful laptop. Now, when it comes to battery life, when you're just doing you know, basic tasks like web browsing, watching videos on YouTube, emails, writing documents, or you know, basic schoolwork, uh, you're gonna get solid battery life out of this laptop you'll get about six to six and a half hours on a single charge. Uh, but if you find yourself gaming, that'll most likely drop to about three hours, maybe less, depending on what game you're playing. But yeah, pretty solid battery life throughout my testing though. And that's the VivoBook S15 OLED. Let's take away the bait branding for a quick second and look at this laptop at its base price, which is $1,100. For that price, you're getting a big screen laptop, a 15.6 inch OLED screen at 120 hertz. You're getting a 13th gen i9 processor with the Intel Iris Xe integrated graphics, which you just saw is fine with casual games and 1080p video editing in DaVinci Resolve Studio. You're getting pretty good speakers that are loud enough to play music out loud. You're getting good battery life, albeit not the best that I've experienced on a laptop, but for $1,100, I think this is the best bang for the buck laptop available right now that isn't a Mac. If you're not a fan of Apple and Mac OS and you're a student and you want a really good laptop that'll last you three to five years, I think this will suit you just fine. Now, as for the Bape Edition, the one that I've been using, for that extra $100, it's actually not an extra $100, it's an extra $200. You're getting a limited edition design on the laptop. You're getting, you know, the briefcase laptop bag that's Bape branded, which looks awesome. You're also getting the mouse and the Bape toy for your collection. I think if you're in a streetwear or, you know, maybe you're a little bit of a hype beast, then you might find this laptop to be a good deal. If not, then the normal $1,100 will suit you just fine. Anyways, that's been it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.